Gamers, and welcome back to another episode, and possibly the last episode, of Mad Max. Oh, uh, well shoot. <laughs> um, hopefully I can go off the edge of this and I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, we are in pursuit of the hunchback. We're taking Chum Bucket down. He ran off with the, uh, uh, with the magnum opus, and he may have built it, but he gave it to us. And that means we're taking it back. We need it, and we're taking it. He betrayed us. In fact, he's been nothing but a pest and an annoyance and a pervert. And the guy has abandoned us on occasion uh, when we're... Whoa. You, you know what? I'm going to take a second and, and repair the car here. Uh, the nice thing is is that Max is capable of making his own repairs. So we technically don't even need the guy. Uh, <clears throat> it certainly makes it easier, but... Uh, But we don't need him. We can make our own repairs if we need to. Um, but it, it's 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 time to it, it's time to settle it's time to settle up with with Chum Bucket. Uh, I have not liked him from the very beginning, uh, and and now he's he's went and and stolen the Magnum Opus, the one thing that we need to 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 escape this this place and get to the planes of silence which is what you know Ma uh, max's ultimate goal is oh yeah it, it's it's done it, it, it's done son we're we're, we're taking on uh, we're, we're taking out the we're, we're, we're taking this guy out and we're, we're leaving whoa And, and if he's lucky, maybe we'll be merciful and leave him alive. But at this point, frankly, Chum Bucket needs to die. Um, I, 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 I'm done with this guy. I am so done with, with Chum Bucket. Ugh. Annoying pervert who has sex with, ah, who has sex with machines. talks when he's not supposed to, even though that's, like, not technically a crime or anything, but I'm trying to do a show, and he's, like, talking over me, abandoned us, stole the car. Nah, we're done. We're, we're done here. We're done here. We're taking this fool out. Oh, oh wrong way, wrong way. Um, I, for a second there, I was following the wrong track there. <laughs> trying to follow the, the convoy track. So it's it's looking like maybe this might be like Chum Bucket for some reason is the final boss. Which is kind of weird. I don't know why Chum Bucket would be a like the final boss guy. Uh, but I guess in a way it makes sense. I mean Max is determined to be alone. He he's He's hurting. His his pain over the loss of his family has, you know, it can only in his mind can only be silenced one way, um, and that's to get to the planes of silence. Which, for those of you who are students of of, of humanity and kind of recognize the the hidden language, I'm pretty sure that the planes of silence. Is, is suicide. He simply hasn't come to understand that that's what he means. Um, Mad Max wants to die. He just hasn't realized it yet. Um, that's what, you know, that's why he's trying to find the planes of silence. He wants 
he wants the visions to end. He wants the pain to end. And he, he'll do anything to make that pain end, including give up whatever possible hope he might have for a future. Um, because his wife and family were his future. And now he just wants it to end. All right. The hatchback better be here and with the car, can I? Should never, never trust nobody. That's weird. There's an intel guy right here. Why is an intel guy here? Hold. Don't raise your weapon to me. I'll tell you instead that the warlords who entered that big ship was the Scrotus himself and his underling, the Stank Gum. You want to die? Go right in. Oh, really? That son of a bitch allied with with stank gum and scrotus he spent this entire time telling me how much he wants scrotus to die and stank gum to die and has had me go all over the freaking map destroying everything that is stank gum and scrotus and he allied with them you son of a bitch! You're a dead man! Where's my car? There's my car. I'll be taking it back, thank you very much. Whoa, what? <laughs> You came for Whoa, me. Whoa, wait a minute. You came for me. I should kill you for this. Uh -huh. Hail the champ! The ruination of stank gum, they said. The one who thieved my big block and my concubine. Not to mention the one who ran a saw blade into Lord Scabrus Scrotus's very brain bag. As if cutting dead stump. Saw your ride. Followed it here. We all followed it here. Found your monkey. And that monkey was made to sing. <laughs> About you, a woman, a child, a whole little family. Must be the dead. But well, now, Daddy's gonna die. You can try. I Come on. Always get it by the finest artist. Oh, you the surprise. We kill with Please heals away the first layer of your skin. What is going on? Damn it. I need to get out more open. I need more open. I can't be in that close. Come here, pal. Come on. Oh, you're like that. All right. No problem. Well, all right. Well, I guess maybe... I guess maybe, uh, all right, well, maybe you're not such a jerk after all, chum bucket, although you still stole the car, jerk. Ah! 
how do you like me now, punk? Come here! Arr! You got me angry! And now you gonna die, boy! Alright, out, 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 out. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, no, dodge. Block. That's what I was waiting for. Come here. Come here. What did he tell you? Oh, man, no. was here. Don't mess up the uh, the he audio. That monkey song, and he dug it uh, about a little family, a woman, a child, a dog. Lord Scrooge is gonna hurt you more than you could ever hurt me. He's there right now, killing him slow. <laughs> in all sorts of tasty ways. I catch the show. Oh but, no. But I took it upon myself. Where am I going? Is he back to Gastown? I don't know. Bring her back to her birthplace. The angel, the Magnum. You stole it. Righteous, it was not. I confess. But what could this lonely Atomite do? What could I possibly do? You meant to take her from me. You meant to plant your petrol tank back here. So? So? Where would Tom Bucket be? What's, what's my place? You That's selfish bastard! Oh! Oh! I'm going the wrong way. Drive, whoa, drive to Deep Friar's Temple. Wait, really? Alright, uh, tell you what, let's... Let's fast travel there. I don't want to fast travel. I didn't want to fast travel directly to to there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be dialogue that pops up. I was scared, say. The Opus. I was scared for her. This guy puts way too much. It Talk just... to me! Talk to me! What are you going to do? I'm gonna do what I've always gonna uh, uh, plan to do. Taking my car. Rescue the girls, what we're gonna do. We're gonna rescue both of them. We're gonna make sure they're safe. You scare me! Who's safe? Why do you not speak? Because you aren't worth the words. You've lost it. You, you, you broke what little trust I had in you already.
Oh, man. I want you to paint my name with their blood across the land. Where is he? Back to your feet. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, they killed Hope and Glory. Oh, I knew this game was going to be dark, but wow. Oh. He murdered them. Screwed us. I will have his blood. Oh, man. Where is he? Where is he? Where's the little story mission thing? I must find him. And end him. But where is he? Nobody knows where he goes. No saints. Only his war boys know his patterns. His zigzags and desperate unholy mutations. All right then. Put the heck upside down in the organic mechanics. He called them some scam. Was a war boy, he said. Was with Scrotus. He said so. I'll know. Yeah, he'll know. And he will. Tell me. He will know and he will tell me. We're going. Like the vengeance from God. Where is he? Where are you, blood bag? I have a score to settle. They killed Hope and Glory. The cute redhead and that and that poor innocent little girl. The final showdown. Max is about to have the final showdown with Scrotus, so make sure that Max and the Magnum Opus are well equipped and upgraded before proceeding. You got it. We just got enough uh, enough money to uh, to oh not that one to max out the engine, so bam, and I do believe we have let's just just very let's just make sure everything is maxed out to the max out, uh, because oh yeah, it's go time people, it is go time. And these are all, yeah, those are all maxed out. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes, yes. And that's all fine. And, yeah, we're going to keep the, uh, those boosts on handling because, frankly, this poor thing handles like a tank. But look at that, guys. Not bad at all. And, of course, we already know Max is, is, is maxed out, so... Where is that son of a bitch? Where's Scrotus? Scrotus? I will tell you where to find him. Your fame walks on its own. And your shadow has grown. And my blood has fueled legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrotus is settled on roadslide. Of the Purgaty Flatlands. <laughs> Too weak, he said. A spent shell. Bring his corpus credits to the organic mechanic and let the blood serve. Now my blood returns for you, Scrotus. Now my blood returns. <laughs> You're damn right. You 
think you bad? There he is. Oh, you don't even know what bad is. You have no idea who you're messing with, pal. You're dealing with some very seriously pissed off the only thing Max. Kill. Kill him. Alright. Pull off the side armor. I can do that. You have no idea who you have, uh, uh, who you pissed off, pal. Until death. Eh. How do you like me now, bitch? You want to hurt my friends? You want to hurt little girls? How do you like me now? Get it fixed. Don't you worry, honey. My turn. 
No, you don't decide. I do. Damn it! Oh, don't worry about it, dear. An innocent woman and an innocent little girl. It was too quick for you, you son of a bitch. I had to take that horn off and stuff it in your brain. Yeah, tear that thing out. Black on black, or black on black. Square one. the curse of Mad Max is that he can't be happy because every time he even makes the attempt, he loses it all. That's his curse. Wow. Powerful ending, guys. Uh, I mean, I, I can't say that I, I didn't expect it. Um, Mad Max you know, Mad Max is known for its dark endings. It's not... He, Mad Max doesn't have a happy ending. Um, and that really is kind of the... Uh, like I said, that's his curse. He can't have a happy ending. He's... He, he believes that he's incapable of having a happy ending, which is why he's searching for the planes of silence. He's trying to get away from everyone so that he can die alone. Um, and, you know, he, he wants to be able to join his family, you know, in the afterlife. So it's, it's not, I mean, it's not a nice ending, and it's not supposed to be. Um, we're supposed to feel that emptiness and that, sorrow um, and that hopelessness that he feels rough game guys um, and I gotta say um, it was a it was a little heart wrenching at the end um, I, I kind of figured something would happen with the girl and uh, with, uh, with, the, with the cute redhead and the girl with hope and glory but I guess I didn't expect them to die. 
that was tough. Uh, I when I watched that, I'm, I, I mean, honestly, it made me angry. It's why I was like, hell yeah, let's go kill this son of a bitch. Um, wasn't expecting that. That was tough. But uh, otherwise, uh, okay, so overall impressions of the game. Uh, it was a good game. It was fun to play. It's got its issues, obviously. Um, uh, that, that whole, like, night mission thing when there's no way to advance time. Boy, that pissed me off. That was, that was such a drag on an otherwise really upbeat and adventure and action-packed game. Uh, the car combat, really cool, but very believable, uh, very, um, like, satisfying. You know, when you blew something up, you felt that, that thing blow up. Um, you know, when you hit things, you knew you were hitting it, man. I mean, it, it's, uh, the, the controls were always a little rough, um, and for a, for a car that should have been, like, at its max, I felt like it should have had better handling, but... It's also realistic that, you know, with something with that much power would have to sacrifice handling uh, to, to do it. So it was realistic. It felt, it felt like it was very realistic in that vein. Um, the, uh, the, the story was really good. Uh, made sense to me. Uh, I don't know how you were supposed to feel about Chum, uh, Chum Bucket. I mean... I know a lot of people see Chum Bucket as a sympathetic character, and in some ways, yes, he is a sympathetic character. He's obviously completely misguided uh, in his love for a thing, for, for an object, for a car, uh, as opposed to a love for other people and himself. And at the end, he was willing to sacrifice himself for an object that didn't care about him. Um, he, you know, so in that manner, yes, he's a pathetic character. He's a sympathetic and pathetic character. But at the same time, he asked for it. The guy asked for it. The guy was, uh, the, the guy was a fool. And for him to honestly think that Mad Max, uh, um, uh, a man who felt so deeply uh, about people that he was, you know, he was a, okay, so, I don't, I, there, there's no, you know, there, as far as I know, there's no proof of this, but it's fairly obvious that Mad Max was a, was a Special Forces, uh, or a SWAT member, or somebody who was extremely highly trained in combat, and at the same time was defending people. So that makes me think he was either Special Forces or like a really highly trained SWAT cop, uh, you know, some somebody with a lot of skill like this, which is how he's survived all these years, and which is why he knows all these special, high high powered fighting tactics. Um, so, and, and the reason why he's able to, uh, you know, pull these skills, you know, seemingly out of nowhere, he he had them from before. Um, so, um, you know, combine that mentality, that protective of, of life mentality with the fact that he's lost the two people in his life that meant everything to him, his wife and his daughter. Of course, he's going to pick life over some stupid machine. And the fact that Scrotus so brutally murdered Though, you know, the uh, hope and glory, the two people that in his mind he was correlating and, and, and putting into the same vein as his wife and daughter, he, didn't, he wasn't looking to replace them, but in his mind, they were, the, they were in the same boat. And for them to be murdered like that, tortured like that, yes, absolutely. It absolutely falls into the character of Mad Max for him to just say, you know what, I'm taking this guy out. You want to go with the car? Fine. You're a, you, your priorities are wrong anyway. You're a psycho anyway. You know, you're a pervert that has sex with cars. You know, you're just another scum bucket. I used you to get the job done. Fine. Die, uh, die with your machine. That's what you wanted anyway. And... For him to use that and take out 
the people who 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 brutally murdered uh, Hope and Glory, and of course, I mean, how indicative are those names? Hope has died. Glory is dead. It's all meaningless. Wow, guys. Um, it all makes sense. So everybody, that's going to do it for this episode and this series. I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly did. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed it. It helps me out so very much. You have successfully completed the story of Mad Max. However, there are still plenty of things to do. Chum Bucket and the Magnum Opus, along with some other major characters, are back again. Uh, yeah, they gotta have the open world thing, you know. But uh, we're, we we don't see that. It's it's they're all dead. They're all destroyed. Oh. Max upgrades un Whoa, wait a minute. Max upgrades unlocked. Wait, wait, oh, wait a minute. I have more stuff. Ooh, I have more stuff. <laughs> hey. And a double-barreled sawed-off shotgun from the old days. It's reliable and reloads quicker than the other makeshift guns. Oh, dude! It's the it's the original from the movie. Nice. <laughs> uh, was there? And there was there? Okay, there wasn't anything new from the car, but uh, anyway, that, so that's cool. That's a oh yeah, look in the yeah, double barrel, just like that in the shotgun. All right, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out so very much. For those of you who are regular viewers of mine, please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and sharing my work on your social media. I truly appreciate it when you do. And for those of you who already support me in all the ways that you do, thank you all so very much. Uh, and thank you for sticking through this series. Uh, I, I really have enjoyed this, and I am glad I played this game. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to care enough about two people to go and do what Max did. And to be a lion that squeaks. So squeak on, everybody, and I will see you in the next series. <laughs>